again, boys and girls. I'm back, and as I promised, this week we're going to be reading lots of spring and Easter stories. So this one is called Little Bunny's Easter Surprise. Let's get started. Okay. One Easter morning, Little Bunny woke up feeling especially happy. She had an Easter basket to look forward to, and this year she was going to give Mama, Papa, and baby brother surprises of their own. Little Bunny hopped out of bed. She went over to baby brother's bed and gave the sleepy bunny a kiss. Then she washed her face, brushed her ears, and got dressed. She had just finished when Mama and Papa showed up at the door. Happy Easter, they said, smiling. Happy Easter, answered Little Bunny with a smile of her own. Papa's eyes twinkled. You know, I have a feeling that somewhere downstairs there are two Easter baskets for two very special bunnies. Anybody interested in finding them? Little Bunny cried. I am. Me too said her baby brother, and the family went downstairs. Little Bunny and baby brother found their baskets in Mama's sewing bag. Little Bunny's basket was pink, filled with little chocolate eggs, and baby brother's was yellow, filled with jelly beans. Little Bunny and baby brother hugged their parents and said, Thank you! Mama smiled. We're glad you like them. It was Little Bunny's turn to have twinkling eyes. And now, she said, you have to find your Easter baskets. Mama and Papa's eyes opened wide. Our Easter baskets, said Papa. Little Bunny grinned. That's right, she said. I hid Easter baskets for everybody. Baby brother clapped, and the grown-ups laughed. What fun, said Mama. Let's get started. And they did just that. The trouble was, little Bunny had hidden her family's Easter baskets so well, nobody could find them. It was time for a clue. Mm-hmm, said little Bunny. Her parents, who were searching behind the couch, looked up. Sometimes, said Little Bunny, Easter baskets are hidden outside the house. Of course, said Papa, and the family marched outside. They looked everywhere along the ground, but still no Easter baskets. Another clue was definitely needed. Little Bunny said, sometimes Easter baskets are hidden above the ground. Hmm, do you think that's a good clue? Let's see. Of course, said Papa, and they began looking on top of the bushes. Then baby brother said, pretty, pretty, and pointed at the pink blossoms on the backyard tree. The tree, Mama said. Sure enough, there were three Easter baskets tucked in the tree's branches. Little Bunny jumped up and down. You found them, you found them. Mama pulled down the baskets, which were filled with little eggs uh, Little Bunny had decorated by herself. Ooh, said Baby Brother. Thank you, Little Bunny, said her parents. Your presents are beautiful. You're welcome, said Little Bunny. I'm just glad you found them before next Easter. Mama and Papa laughed, and Baby Brother giggled. It was a wonderful Easter. Later that night, as Bunny crawled into bed, she thought, I can hardly wait until next Easter, when I can surprise everyone again. She lay down on her pillow and felt something hard. She lifted her pillow. There, underneath, was one of Baby Brother's dolls, holding some of Baby Brother's jelly beans. Little Bunny looked over at Baby Brother's bed, and Baby Brother looked back, his eyes twinkling. And that is the end of the book. Isn't that a nice book? I hope you enjoyed it.
I'll see you on Thursday. Have a great afternoon, everybody.